Hey guys, so sorry about the bad lighting and the planet on my cheek, but today I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup collection. I have not done a makeup collection since 2011 and it's almost 2015 and the reason for that is I haven't really loved the way my makeup setup has been previously. I really am content with the way it looks, with the way I have it set up. I don't have a lot of money to buy a bunch of expensive things, so I just kind of took pieces of furniture from my house or stored things I already had and made do with what I have, and I really like it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys for subscribing to me and following me throughout the years. I love all you guys and thanks for the support. It really makes my day to read you guys' nice comments. So this is my gift to you guys. So I'm going to get right into the makeup collection because it's going to take a while. So to start my makeup collection, I have this antique chair with a cute little penguin. Then this is a little bit of an overview. So I'll start with what's on top first. So here I have my jewelry box and it's antique. And then this is a little jar with cotton balls in it, a little Christmas themed hair tie on it. I have a bucket full of EOS lip balms a new lotion I got from Victoria's Secret that smells really good, and a little mirror. And then I have my MAC Fix Plus, I have some hand cream, hand sanitizer, a big puff, and Q-tips, and then this is some eye makeup remover in case I make a mistake. And then here I have like this file organizer, and it has all three of my Naked palettes, my Lorac Pro palette, Steal It In The Light, and my MAC palette. And then here are my brushes. I have my dual fiber eyeshadow brushes. These are liner brushes and brow combs. And then these are eyeshadow brushes and they're in this little container which was a Bath and Body Works candle I used up. And I have some more. These are like more face brushes, more face brushes, and more face brushes. This is actually a couch table but in here we have some makeup remover wipes and a eyelash curler. Then, right here, I have lip stuff. These are a lot of my baby lips. And then these are just some Nivea. This is a NYX Butter lip balm. A Blistex. Burt's Bees Sugar. Some chapsticks. And then here are my lipsticks. And I have a lot of MAC lipsticks. These ones are limited edition that may not even be usable anymore, but I just keep them because they were limited edition. And then I have like a Rimmel lipstick in here for some reason and a Gerard Cosmetics. And then my NYX lip butters, which I love. And then I just have some Maybelline and e.l.f., some Milani, CoverGirl, Revlon, um, Rimmel, Wet n Wild, NYX butter, Revlon, L'Oreal, Maybelline, Color Whispers, and it cosmetics. Then I have these two three drawer organizers and then on top I have my pumpkin cupcake candle which I love it smells so good. I have my soft lips cube and my elf lip exfoliator which I really like and in the top three I have just my everyday makeup so on the top one I just have my Too Faced Natural Eye. I use it for my brows and then here I just have eyeliner, brow gel, concealer, mascara, eye primer, and then in the bottom one I have all my face stuff, my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, Maybelline Baby Skin, Hula Bronzer, some powders, this is MAC Mineralized Blush in Dainty. So in the second stack, the top drawer has lip liners, which I don't have a lot, but I have one little mini MAC one, Starlux, Rimmel, Jordana, Boutique, and an elf. And in this drawer I just have liners of all different kinds. I have a lot of Urban Decay, I have a Star Looks, um, NYX, just some random ones, this nude liner from Rimmel which I love, 
some Maybelline. And then the bottom one, I have anything to do with brows. So I have brow pencils, brow tools, brow gels. I have some brow powders. Over there, I have my mirror. It's a baby picture of me. And that's my niece and nephew. And it's just a full body mirror that I'm using as a vanity mirror. Then over here, I have a little lamp. And then on top, I have this little giraffe, because I collect giraffes. And then I have this container, and it has some candles, a hand cream, and a little point shoe. And then here's my actual makeup collection. These are four Sterilite three-drawer containers. So I'll start at the top. So this is kind of a catch-all drawer. I have some Tiger Balm, extra contacts, hand sanitizer, wet ones, a bumper sticker, um, perfume samples, a Travelo, and just stuff like that. And the second drawer is a miscellaneous tools drawer. These are brushes that I'm using right now. I just keep them in there. And then once I start using more brushes, that's where my dirty brushes go. And then in this little thing, I have some Kabukis, smaller eyelash curler, some little tools, sponges, extra. These are actually grand entrance eyeshadows, but I bought four of them and haven't used them, so maybe I'll give one of those away in a giveaway or something. My sponge, a brush guard, and then just some random other things back there. This drawer starts my lip products. So I have any like lip balms in here that didn't fit in the other thing. And then here I organized it by color the best that I could. So in here I have reds, and then I have my purples or darker colors. And then I have my corals, peaches, and salmons. I have more lip products. I have nude kind of pinkish colors. I have neutrals or clears. I have pinks. That's more hot pinks and these are more baby pinks. In this drawer I have some face products, which I don't have a lot. So I have some primers in the front and this is a drug cosmetics BB cream that I mix with my foundation. And this is a illuminating primer as well. My Eclipse palette. I use this for if I'm doing other people's makeup and sometimes mine. And then I have some foundations and BB creams. This foundation's for if I'm in a hurry. This foundation's for if I'm self tanning. This is a good foundation. And then this is my favorite BB cream and this one's good as well. This hasn't been opened. And I just have some extra concealers back there. In this drawer I have powders, I have highlights, I have bronzers, except this is a bronzer and blush duo, this is a bronzer and highlight duo, and then this is a bronzer and blush duo. And then this is a little bronzer and highlight palette, this is a bronzer, blush, and highlight disc. My BH Cosmetics 10 color blush palette, and then this is just a MAC item that I keep back there because I don't want to use it. So on this drawer, I have just blushes. And there's really no certain organization to these except the cream ones are up here. I have just ones that fit where they can fit. These are e.l.f. There's NARS, Too Faced, Rimmel, NYX, e.l.f., MAC, Benefit, Milani, NYX, Wet n Wild, Clinique, Tarte, Jordana, it's actually a cream blush, MAC, Sunny Kashuk, Maybelline, and Hard Candy. In the next drawer I have, this is my lashes drawer. It's honestly not very exciting. I just have two mascaras that are open. I'm really picky about throwing out my mascara. I throw them out every three months. And then these are just all unopened mascaras. And then lashes. And these are opened lashes. So in here is my eye primer base kind of stuff. I have primers. I don't know, some cream eyeshadows that come like this. And yeah. And here I have all my Maybelline color tattoos. These are my MAC paint pots, which I used to have like 10. But they all dried up. And then I have some e.l.f. These are e.l.f. as well. And then this is like a liquid gold thing. And then all my NYX jumbo eyeshadow pencils which are fun when I'm doing fun makeup looks. And then in here, I have just a bunch of eyeshadow. This is all eyeshadows that are bigger than, like a quad and bigger. And I organized them like this because it's easier to see all of them when laid out. And my favorite ones are more towards the front. 
And then ones I don't use anymore but are collectible, I put in the back like this ancient MAC one. Then in the next drawer, this just has a pile of singles and just smaller compacts. Some of these are quads, but you can see they're smaller. Then these are like little trios and such, NARS duos, and then these are all kind of pigments. And then here I have glitter, and then these are all glitter cream palettes that I use for fun looks. This is a MAC loose glitter, and then this is a really pretty pigment, and then these are also some pigment type things. And then in the bottom drawer, these are all palettes. A lot of ones from like Beach Cosmetics, Coastal Scents, Urban Decay Anniversary Palette, Too Faced, um, L, a lot of Urban Decays under there, NYX, Too Faced, Profusion. But yeah, I do have a lot of palettes in there. So that was what's in my drawers. Right under here, I have a vintage makeup caboodle. And then I have my makeup bag and then this is a headband for when I'm doing my makeup. So another part of my makeup collection is over here in my dresser. I just have a bunch of palettes in there. BH Cosmetics, a couple e.l.f. ones. These are all Coastal Sense BH Cosmetics. Lauren Luke, some e.l.f. Too Faced, which this is pretty old actually, but I keep it because it has pretty packaging, but I don't really use it anymore. This is a Sephora Blockbuster set, which is really big, so if you want a separate palettes collection, I can show you that. I have three Urban Decay palettes here. This is Vice 2, Alice in Wonderland, Book of Shadows, and Book of Shadows 4, I think. I have the Too Faced Bonbons and this Tarte palette. And then I might as well show you this drawer. This is all my nail polish and such. So I have my nail polish. It starts from red, goes orange, yellow, basically all the way, and then over here. I have neutrals, golds, blacks, all of those colors. I have all my nail polish remover, nail drying spray, nail art, nail polishes, and then I have some other random nail tools. And those are like nail dryers, oils, base coats, top coats, strengtheners. So right here, this is where I keep my perfumes and my body sprays and such. So this is a antique perfume tray. I just have all my perfumes on there. And then these are not all my body sprays. These are just the ones to work for the colder months. And then I have a candle on there as well. And then up here, I keep makeup bags, um, brush rolls, little purses, stuff like that. Over here, I keep all my body lotions and body butters. I don't have nearly as many as I do body sprays because they go bad faster. Over in this little area right here, I keep all of my other body sprays in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like I said, if there's any other types of collection videos you'd like to see, like a more in-depth palette collection or something like that, I would be more than happy to do that for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up this video and subscribe and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!